Hey guys, it's Movement Monday with Maddie B Wellness and today I'm bringing you an upper body routine. So I invite you to join in with me right now, either seated or standing. All you need are your two arms and we'll start with our hands beside us, lifting our arms laterally. So as you're watching this video, just listen to me, give you some critiques and I'll be taking you through a few different exercises and just move, do what you can, right? Take breaks when you need to. You can always pause this video and come back to it. Going into this exercise here, notice how my arms are shoulder height. I'm not raising them above or keeping them below. I'm trying to aim right at shoulder height and then relaxing them down. Another thing I want to be really specific about is keeping the shoulders down. So we tend to, with every exercise that we do, draw the shoulders closer to the ears. We don't want that. We don't want to cause tension that doesn't need to be creative, right? So keeping our arms at shoulder height, pushing the shoulders away from the ears. You might start to feel your shoulders engage from here just because you are making a point to keep the shoulders down, right? We're still doing it. You feel the burn yet? Feel the burn? Okay, moving into our next exercise. Now, like I said, you guys can take breaks whenever you need to. But we're going into box arms. So my elbow is in line with my shoulder. I'm keeping my palms facing in towards each other and I'm going to extend and bring in the arms. Extend, bring in the arms. Now, if you're not able to take the elbow all the way up to shoulder height level, that's okay. We start somewhere and then we move up, right? So if you're down here, that's fine. But I want you to try to keep, that's the hard part, is keeping the elbows in line with the shoulder, shoulders down. Extending the arms, bringing them back in. Your extra challenge here is to flex the biceps on the way in, like you're showing off your muscles, like you're a super strong woman or man, which you are. So extending, try not to let the arms fall as we extend, right? We wanna keep them in line with each other the entire time. You're only here for just a little bit longer and then we get to take a nice break and relax for just a second, because then we'll have to jump right back in. Go ahead and relax, shake out the arms. If I'm feeling it, I know you're feeling it. We're gonna go back to those lateral raises. So taking it back to what we did in the first place and then we'll combine the second movement with the first. Again, my shoulders are in line with the rest of my body because while well, your shoulders can't really move that much, right? So my arms are in line with my shoulders the whole time. My elbows are slightly bent just to feel a more natural bend and not put any elbow tension on where it doesn't need to be. And we'll be here for just a couple more seconds. In three, two, one, changing it up. Palms facing in together, elbows in line with shoulders, extending, bringing it back in. Remember your extra challenge here is to flex the biceps. These guys right here, like you're strong. Which you are, like I've said before, you are strong. Doing this video is gonna make you even stronger. Can you believe that? I can, hee <laughs> hee. Almost there, you've got a couple more seconds left and then we get to relax and try our new exercise. Good, bring those arms down. Shake them out, we don't need any of that unwanted stress. Keep the shoulders down and back. Our next exercise is called a scapular retraction, which we've done before in previous videos. My arms are out in front, notice how they are shoulder height, and then I'm bringing my elbows back to touch together. Now, unless you are insanely flexible, they probably won't touch together, but that's our goal, right? That is the movement here. We're coming forward, squeezing the upper back together, elbows trying to touch, and then releasing on the way back. So notice how when I did squeeze, everything comes up together, and then I release everything coming forward. So my shoulders tense up just a tad, because that's normal doing this type of exercise, and then I release it coming forward. If you'd like to incorporate breathing here, which I definitely recommend, you should be breathing through these exercises. Inhale on the way back, exhale on the way forward. Good, just a few more here. Keep squeezing those elbows together. We've got three, two, one. Shake the arms out for just a second. I don't know about you guys, but I'm feeling it, but that's okay, because we're gonna put them all together now and make it even harder. We love putting ourselves through crazy things, right? This is one of them. Coming back to those lateral raises, we're gonna take it up a notch this time, and I'd like for you to try to up the speed so you can go faster than me, you can go with me, whatever your beautiful heart desires. 
Remember, we are still controlling our arms though, so my, my arms are in line with my shoulders the entire time I'm doing these lateral raises. Well, except for when they come back down, right? But when I take them up, they stay in line with the shoulders. We have a few more here. Make sure you're breathing. That's really important, especially while you're exercising. And in life in general, you know, we like to breathe. I sure hope you do. Relax the shoulders. Notice how some of you might have went from here to there. I got you, don't worry, I got your back. Moving on to our second exercise, palms facing in together, elbows in line with shoulders. Extending, flexing, extending, flexing. We have just a few of these. Like I said, challenge yourself a little bit here. One, make sure those, el those elbows, those shoulders are not riding up to the ears. Knock them down, put them where they're supposed to be. And then flex on the way in. Make sure you're breathing, that's extra important. We love to breathe. We'll be here for just a little bit longer. Trust me, I know your arms are a little bit tired. Because mine are a little bit tired. So yours have to be. Moving on to our final exercise, taking the arms out in front, going into those scapula retractions. I know your shoulders are burning, but it's a good thing that we're working our back now. Like I said, elbows come back to touch. Everything in my upper back is squeezing together, like my scapula. Note why it's called scapula retraction. Retracting them back together, releasing everything as I come forward. We've got about 10 more of these. Make sure you're breathing, that's extra important. Relaxing the shoulders when you come forward, you've got five more. We're almost there. And then we get to do a little stretch. That's good, right? We like to stretch. Relax, shake out the arms. Woo! I don't know about you guys, but that felt real good to me. So, moving right onto the stretches here. I want you guys to take your right arm across. So you're mirroring me. Right arm across. Don't do anything yet. Just take it as far across as it'll go. We got that. Then I want you to scoop your left arm up and give it an extra pull. So unassisted, assisted. We're pulling it in. If you want to look from the side, this is how I look. This is how I look. Okay, one more thing that we don't hear a lot is to keep this shoulder down, that way you get the most optimal stretch in the shoulder. So instead of keeping it towards the ear like it really wants to be, knock it down. And hold it in that position as you're pulling that right arm. Try to relax everything else in the body. And then we'll switch. Left arm goes over, right arm comes underneath, pulls, and then I bring it down away from the ear. We don't want any unwanted tension. You guys are gonna have to let me know how you liked this upper body routine. I hope that you enjoyed it. I know I enjoyed it with you. It was definitely a little shoulder workout. And there will be more to come. Lower body, more upper body stuff. And I appreciate you guys watching as you always do. Have an amazing Monday and Happy New Year!